Okay, so Ubuntu Unity 20.10 has just come out and uh, it's got a really nice wallpaper on it, which is great for me as a thumbnail because I'll be able to use that as my thumbnail for this video. And uh, I'm running it from an SSD drive, so it supports SSD drive straight out. You don't have to do anything to it, just write it to the SSD drive and boot it up. So let's go into screen capture. So this is thanks to Notera Beansman for letting me know uh, Ubuntu Unity 2010 was released for the Pi. I think you should check it out and see what they improved since the 20.04.1 alpha. Uh, so yeah, the last time I reviewed Ubuntu Unity, it was it was a bit slow and uh, ordinary Ubuntu and also Ubuntu Mate was much better. I've just applied all the updates as you can see here. So let's hit review and uh, see what it says. Okay, so it just says OS updates includes performance, stability, security, and improvements. Uh, it took a while for that to come up for some reason. Uh, so let's hit explore and have a look. So you've got an app store here. So various different things that you can install in there. Installed apps, you can see a way of doing that and also how to remove them and also see what needs updates. Well, I've just done an update, so nothing needs an update at the moment. Uh, so if I was to do a search for something like, I don't know if it comes with Gparted, Gparted, yeah, so Gparted comes up and you could click on that and uh, install. Gparted is great for resizing partitions. Some operating systems don't use the whole of the size of your SSD or your SD card and uh, so you have to resize them, but it's just a useful thing to have. And you've got reviews and everything here. Yeah, it's a nice, th so the app store and everything looks nice. So let's do Gparted and see if it needs to uh, be expanded. I don't think it does. Ubuntu doesn't usually need to anymore. Yeah, so this is the drive that I'm on. There aren't any other drives connected. So uh, 20, 29.57 gigabytes. So if we click on the top bit here, you can search for apps. Uh, so say for instance, I wanted to search for, I guess it's Firefox. Yeah, so Firefox comes up. Uh, if we wanted to change maybe display, yeah, displays comes up, uh, maybe something to do with sound. Yeah, so that, I think that all operating systems should have something like this, where you click on something, start typing, and it gives you all the options. Uh, Raspberry Pi OS, I don't think does that. I mean, I'm sure you can add it on. Uh, Twister OS does, and Ubuntu does, Ubuntu Mate does, uh, Windows 10 does, Mac OS does. Uh, so I think it's something that all operating systems should do. So let's get rid of that. And so we can see Firefox is on the desktop. Uh, we can see LibreOffice Writer is there, uh, LibreOffice Calc, LibreOffice Impress, the software which we were using, and also system settings. So nice and basic to start off with, just the essentials that are there. So we can go for something like Appearance. And you can see there's various different wallpapers that are already in there. Oh, and there's a dark mode of this one. So let's click on that dark one. Ah, double click. Oh, that looks quite nice as well. So let's close that down, go back into settings. And I tend to find that uh, printer support is really good. Uh, so it tends to pick up a printer straight away on Ubuntu. There you go. So my wireless HP printer is there. Uh, I've always found that uh, actually there's no... There's no folder icon here, is there a files icon? I would definitely put that on the desktop. So if I go file, there you go. So there's files here. Uh, what happens if I right click it? Uh, lock to launcher. Yeah, so really, really nice to use operating system. So if I go to network and I go to WD My Cloud, that will be my NAS drive, connect. There you go, and I could and I could have a look in there and have a look through my files and everything else. This is not overclocked. I try not to overclock when I first do an operating system, uh, but it's usually pretty easy to uh, overclock Ubuntu operating systems. I think it's in, uh, well, let's have a look, see where it is. So if we go to file system and boot, and I think it's in firmware, config.txt. So let's close that down and let's have a quick look at Firefox and see what the web performance is like. I did notice that um, before with this, there wasn't a way of laying out the apps. I suppose there is because I can go into the software one so I can show you what apps are installed in that. In fact, let's do that first. Let's leave Firefox where it is. Go into the software one and go for installed. 
so at least then I can see what there is and if I choose to to pin anything to that left hand launch bar then I can uh, so what have we got uh, solitaire games calculator calendar character map characters cheese take photos and videos with your webcam backups disk manage disk drives and media disk uses analyzer document scanner no mahjong there's a few games in there, mine, Sudoku, G Party, which I've just installed, uh, Help with GNOME, Image Viewer, LibreOffice Suite there, Print Settings, Screenshot. Oh, there's, quite, there's quite a lot in here as standard. And it feels pretty swift. So let's, let's try out Firefox, let's try out YouTube. So let's click on my channel. Because this week I uh, uploaded this uh, 4K Ultra HD clip. I'm not going to play it in 4K. Um, but uh, it's just nice quality footage that's natural and uh, I know I can use it and I'm not going to get any copyright strikes from it. So what does it default to? Oh, you can't see on the advert, can you? Oh, it's a non... Oh, I can't skip the advert at the moment. Now, I'm not getting any audio. So let's have a look. Sound settings. So I would be using HDMI audio, uh, which would be from my capture device. Front, like, right. Oh, there is a test system there. Front, left. All right, well, I'm using a mono Bluetooth speaker, so that's not going to make much difference. So the sound is working. Uh, again, really nice menus, really nice settings. Uh, Ubuntu overall is very, very easy to get into. It's all pretty standard. Uh, right, for some reason it's not playing. Oh, that's all right, now it is. So it's playing at 480 at the moment. Let's go right up to 1080. Oh, it's not looking bad. This is a very, uh, like a really fast panning shot. To be fair, that for the pie, that's pretty good. Non overclocked, oh, it freezes when I start to move it around. Let's uh, zoom out. Might turn that down. At, well, in fact, I can turn that off because we know the sound's working. So it's stopped playing. Pause it and unpause. Oh, it doesn't seem to like full screen 1080 straight off the bat. So let's go down to 720, which is what I would often use on the Pi, uh, just because overall the experience is a bit faster. Haven't done any tweaking or anything to the web browser. Well, I think we, we should be at a stage where you don't need to now. Well, it doesn't seem to want to play full screen at all. Maybe I'll refresh that page. So let's just see if I can get it to start again. Mm, it's a bit slow, isn't it? Oh, another advert. Confuses people with tablets, that advert. Uh, so skip ad. Even at 720, that clip looks lovely, doesn't it? So 720, I think, is decent, is, is perfectly usable. So let's just do a little bit of searching. Hot UK deals. Let's get rid of that Firefox tab and let's open another one and do BBC. So let's get a Hot UK deals. Uh, do a bit of a scroll. Yeah, scrolling's reasonable. I'm using a Logitech mouse and keyboard combo uh, with a trackpad. So BBC and let's do sport. Yeah, all's working pretty well. I think what I'm going to do now, I've just got enough time to try it on the Pi 400. So I'm going to see that uh, USB boot and also Ubuntu Unity works on the Pi 400. So let's shut that down, which is on the right here. Oh, by the way, at the top here, what have we got? I usually cover this. So network, language, Bluetooth, speakers, clock, calendar, shut down and shut down. Nice tiles there. Okay, so Pi 400, 
I've got my mouse here. Uh, so I've got my SSD matches my Pi 400 because it's a white one. So let's pop that into USB 3. I've already got my mouse dongle in there. Uh, let's pop the uh, Ethernet cable. It's just easier for me because I switch operating systems to use Ethernet. Uh, and let's unplug these two. HDMI and USB-C. I think it's starting up already, is it? No, so let's press F10 to power it up. And let's switch back into screen capture. Okay, so now I've got mouse and obviously the Pi 400's got its own keyboard. Let's go back into uh, Firefox and, uh, and just run that video test again. Because the thing about this is that uh, this will be clocked at 1800 instead of 1500 on the ordinary Pi 4 uh, because the Pi 400 is slightly overclocked uh, or it's clocked slightly higher because it has that big heat sink in the keyboard. I keep meaning to take it apart. I will take it apart soon. I know others have done it, but I, I just I enjoy taking things apart. Right, so YouTube. Battery low. Please charge now. And uh, let's play that again. And I would imagine it's still on 720 because that's what it was last on. 720, full screen. Could be my imagination, but I'm thinking it looks a bit smoother. But then I was doing 1080 on the other one. Let's see if it. Let's see if it struggles with 1080. You can find just by. Uh, Rebooting, let's turn off the sound. You can tr uh, find that just by rebooting an operating system, it can make enough of the difference. So I see I have the 4, 4K option comes up. Be rude not to try it. So let's try 1080 first. Yeah, it doesn't like 1080, does it? Yeah. Definitely doesn't like 1080. Doesn't like 1080 when I move the mouse. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got to try 4K, uh, and I'm going to put it on 4K, and I'm going to run it at full screen, and I'm not, not going to touch the mouse and see what happens. Will I be able to see anything? Well, it's not looking good. That's been <laughs> that's been several seconds. As I say that. Video playback's never been the Pi's strong point. Uh, there's lots of amazing things that it does and certain operating systems it runs incredibly well. Uh, but as you can see, 4K is is not one of them. It's weird, you, you'd think that it would be able to do at least something, you know, stuttering or, or just showing a page or something like that, but it it just doesn't even seem to want to play anything at all. I'll give it just a little bit longer. Oh, there you go. Look how, I mean, it's full on Chris. Well, I'm looking at it on a 1080 monitor, but it looks incredible. He's trying to play it. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. Uh, so let's pause that. I still think Ubuntu and Ubuntu Mate offer better performance, um, but, uh, but this is definitely better than the last time I tried it. Really nice to see that it works on an SSD drive. And I know a lot of people are fond of Ubuntu Unity. Um, so uh, yeah, another nice addition to the pie. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.